and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another video. So today's video I'm going to be doing something different. As you can see we're here in my kitchen and I'm going to be sharing with you 10 things that I will never buy again. Now I know that the internet and YouTube is full of shopping hauls like Amazon and home organization hauls. I've put them up myself and I really love to be inspired and I guess influenced by what other people are using but there are some times when you buy things and they just do not work, they don't turn out and even if they seem like they're good at the start, once you've used them for a while, kind of tried and tested, they just didn't work out so I wanted to share them with you here today. If you are interested in cleaning, organizing and lifestyle type videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, it really helps out my channel a ton and let's get straight into the things that I really did not like. So truth be told, a lot of the items that I would not purchase again are found in the kitchen and we will start with the first thing that I would never purchase again and that is this size, the small size mason jar. Now I love mason jars, I use them heaps. I literally use them a ton for food storage, for keeping things in the fridge, in the freezer and just in the pantry. They are so, so versatile, they're really, really affordable and they're readily accessible all around the world. But the thing that I definitely wouldn't do is I wouldn't buy multiple sizes. You can get them in the regular mouth and you can also get them in the large mouth and I think that this is the most versatile mouth size just because when you're putting in leftovers or if you're storing things in the freezer just having that extra wide mouth is much much more versatile than having the narrow one and I would only stick with the large one just to not have a double up or duplicates or multiples just to have the same the same size lid to be able to fit this size and also the larger two sizes as well so just as an example if you go with the wide mouth lid size you have got the option to have different size containers but just to have the one size lid. Instead of having a drawer full of multiple size lids that you've got to sort through, you just grab whichever size container that works for you and the one size lid will fit it. So this is one that's like a bubble tea type size. This is great for smoothies and shakes and things like that. And you can pop the lid on. I get these plastic lids from Amazon because I don't like how the metal ones tarnish. And I've had the plastic ones for many many years uh, and they wash up really well and they are excellent quality this one is one that I purchased for use with a straw so you can use it with a thick straw like, or it is also great to use with my personal favorite the glass straws and I like this because I think it's a nicer user experience when you're drinking your your beverage or your tea or iced coffee or whatever it is that you're drinking through a glass straw I personally am not a fan of like biting my teeth or like having my teeth touching stainless steel like this each time I drink. I definitely much prefer a glass straw. So that is definitely one of the things that I wouldn't purchase. I'd stick to purchasing the one lid size mason jar rather rather than having multiple size mouths or openings or whatever they're called uh, just to make it really much more easier and streamlined so that you've only got to carry one size lid. You can also get them in this great bamboo um, ceiling lid that again I picked up from Amazon and I just think that looks really cute it's got really a nice like bamboo and glass aesthetic it also fits the straws reusable straws and these are great to have iced coffees juices smoothies any little drink on the go uh, and the seal on this is super super tight so it definitely does not spill it's definitely leak proof spill proof uh, besides the hole obviously but these are really great quality and I definitely recommend these lids all right the next thing that I definitely would not recommend is something that I have showed on my channel when I purchased it and it is these uh, silly cook plastic containers you get these I think these are a Korean brand I purchased mine on Amazon but and I am using them at the moment but as you can see after a while they just start to deteriorate so the lids have all cracked they've all also stained from being washed in the dishwasher so you know when you wash things through with like marinara sauce or pasta sauce or you know spaghetti bolognese dishes that have got spaghetti sauce left over the cheaper sort of products will always stay they said on amazon that it was fridge freezer microwave and dishwasher safe 
uh, which I have used. I've used these in the freezer. I've used these in the fridge, obviously. I have, I don't think I've used them in the microwave, but I've definitely put them through the dishwasher. And for me, they just haven't stood up and they haven't like stood the test of time. I haven't had them for long. I've only had them for a couple of months. I definitely know that I purchased these kind of at the start of probably the start of quarantine. So around March, maybe April. Um, so definitely not worth the money. They weren't super expensive, but still I would expect that container would last longer than that. And it's such a shame because they are literally the perfect size storage container and again as you can see I'm still using them um, this has got some frozen bananas in it so obviously the freezer see, this one has got a discolored lid yeah they are the perfect size but just unfortunately the quality of the lid is just not up to standard the other thing that I noticed in some of these they had like some marking I think I actually might have used this in the microwave once to defrost something um, and it definitely does say that it is freezer microwave and dishwasher safe here as it says on the back uh, but the one that I used in the microwave it came like with some marks on the plastic like it had kind of not melted but it had started to um, to wear away on the inside which was not not a great sign so needless to say I have not used those in the microwave again next up on my list of things that I wouldn't buy again is this set of glass lock storage containers and the quality is exceptional they really are great quality and they keep your food fresh for so long but I found that the different sizes having like a huge variety of different sizes it was honestly more annoying for me than it was useful I definitely use the middle size the most which is I literally had to pull it out of the freezer because I had stuff in it so I definitely found that for my family, this one particular size was definitely the most versatile. So I would definitely just prefer to have multiples of the one size rather than a ton of different ones where you've got different size containers and different size lids. So it's annoying to have to store. The other thing is when you nest them inside each other, they often get stuck inside each other. And I always feel like I'm gonna break them trying to pry them apart. So like these two are stacked inside each other. Sometimes they'll get stuck. I don't know, I just guess it depends on how you put them in, but it just feels like they're gonna chip on the edges trying to get them apart. Yeah. So again, it's not really a great user experience in my opinion. I would definitely prefer to just have the one size, like a medium size container with one lid and just have multiples of that. Next up on my list of things that I would not purchase again are these silicon food covers that I picked up from Kmart. I think these were about $3.50, so super, super cheap, very affordable, but <laughs> you kind of get what you pay for. For me, they just definitely didn't work out. Now, they work fine when you, uh, when you have got perfectly dry hands on a perfectly dry dish uh, with definitely no moisture or no food touching it at all. The problem is the minute that it gets even slightly damp with either if you've got wet hands, which you often have in the kitchen from you know, washing your hands or preparing food or whatever it is that you're doing, you're never really gonna have super dry hands and there will always be like maybe some dampness from the food that you're trying to store. The thing is that when these get damp, they just don't stick and they don't hold. So they're only good for if you've got perfectly dry, which is never the case when you've got leftovers and working in the kitchen in my opinion. The other thing is, and I think I actually already recycled the one that was horribly stained. They also pick up the stains from any like tomato-based sauce if you're washing anything through the dishwasher with tomato-based sauce, like again, the bolognese sauce, pasta, the sauce, marinara, um, napolitana sauce, whatever you want to call it, they will definitely stain these up really badly. They kind of just start looking really dingy really quickly in my opinion, so not a winner for me. $3.50 from Kmart, definitely wouldn't recommend these. All right, the next thing on my list of things that I would not buy are these fridge storage containers from InDesign. Like, I'm gonna give a disclaimer, I absolutely love this brand and this line of containers. They keep your food so fresh for so long. They definitely, definitely work. Uh, I don't know how they work because they've got like little holes in them. And I think the lady said that when you've got fresh produce that you wanna store, you need to have like it vented so that the gases can escape because that's what makes your um, food spoil. And I've kept things like carrots in this container and they've lasted for weeks and weeks in the fridge, I'm not gonna lie. In fact, I had some carrots in here for so long one, in one of these containers that they kind of started to sprout. So they definitely keep it fresh, but they were still crispy and crunchy. Um, so they definitely keep your food very, very fresh. It's just that the size of this one, I found the size was really impractical. And I would love to see this kind of design with that raised grid plastic insert in the bottom. 
in something that's of this size because I find that this size container which I've got three of in the fridge that I'm using and I use, use on the daily this size is much much more practical and it would be good I don't know if we just don't get like a huge selection here in Australia but to have that grid base functioning thing in the bottom of this size containers and it's super super hot and <laughs> humid in here so these are fogging up because I've just pulled it out of the fridge but this is definitely my favorite size and I love the fact that they can stack up you can use them for a ton of different things you can use them with or without the lid these are definitely great it's just in this particular size like literally the only thing that I use that actually fits and takes up the whole space of this is when I buy a celery which honestly when I buy celery I kind of use it straight away so I don't have the need to store it for a long time so definitely love this product just not in this particular size it definitely didn't work for me and I would definitely stick with again multiples of the same size so that you can stack them you can coordinate them you can use the lids interchangeably with the bases and it saves just having a double up of different size lids and containers just adding extra like extra things where it's not necessary all right, the next item is another item from my kitchen and I actually mentioned this in my last video. My getting back on track post vacation motivation video that was my last upload and in it I was cleaning the kitchen, unpacking the dishwasher and putting my knives back on my magnetic knife rack. And this thing is literally the most useless piece of kitchen equipment that I have ever had the misfortune of buying. You are a piece of... It sticks up on the wall no problem it is one of those suction um, type situations that you kind of put up and then you have a little vacuum tool that sticks it up onto the wall that has been absolutely flawless it has not budged it has not dropped it has not come down the problem is that the weight of my knives which are just regular global stainless steel knives it won't hold the bigger knives it holds the smaller size chopping knives okay but it doesn't do it without kind of pivoting them like sideways they won't sit straight on the knife rack and for the two heavier ones so the bread cutting serrated knife and the bigger chef's knife it just doesn't have enough magnetic stick or whatever it's called and enough magnetic force to be able to hold those knives for that weight and for me it was just not worth it so I'm definitely looking for an alternative to that which would have to be like a slim line knife block or something along those lines and it's a real shame because being in this small kitchen space with limited counter space I definitely wanted to get the knives up and off the counters so that is why I purchased the magnetic knife holder but it just for this one this particular brand it just did not work at all I'll leave the actual brand name and all the details below in the bottom so if you are looking for a magnetic knife holder you will know which one to avoid the next item that I would not buy or recommend buying are these chopping boards from Ikea I have had a couple of these I do not put them through the dishwasher I just hand wash them uh, but I think this is the third one now and they just split apart on the seams they're really not that great quality they are only a couple of dollars each but definitely they don't last they don't hold up to everyday use uh, I only use these occasionally just for like having sandwiches and cheese platters and little cheese boards and stuff so they're not like everyday high use items definitely would not recommend purchasing this particular item from Ikea okay so another item that I've purchased that I regret and I definitely would not recommend is this selfie ring light type clamp on contraption thing it is USB so I'll just quickly plug it in to show you how it works so you plug it in via USB it has an on off switch you can cycle it through a couple of different colors and it definitely works well it is just that when it comes time to clamping it on and I'll have to unplug it to show you clamps on perfectly no problem at all the problem is when you actually go to put your mobile phone in it doesn't have the strength within itself to hold the weight of a mobile phone and I've really got an iPhone X so it's not huge and it's not it's definitely not heavy but it just doesn't stay in place and it will stay in place but then it will slowly droop and droop and droop and droop so a great idea and it does work if you kind of twist it around and on itself but that kind of defeats the purpose of having this like I I think this was like around 50 or 60 dollars so it definitely wasn't a cheap version and I definitely picked one um, that was in the higher price bracket with the expectation that it would be strong and secure enough to hold itself in place but 
as you can see, it's just not the case. So I definitely, definitely would not recommend this one. Um, so it's a great concept and a great idea. It just is unfortunately lacking in the strength or the quality uh, to be able to recommend it. So I definitely would not recommend this one. Next up on my list of things that I would not purchase is this natural bristle brush. I bought this one from Kmart and I bought it to replace one that I had purchased previously also from Kmart which actually had white bristles. The reason that I wouldn't purchase this is because the color of these dark natural bristles, the color transfers or leaks, I don't know if they're dyed or if they are actually natural, but the color of it leaks and transfers once it's wet. So I would definitely stick with the white version and this one is the um, white Magic Eco Basics. So this one is definitely one that I would recommend because it is white. Um, I think it's synthetic fibers, but the bamboo handle is natural bamboo. But however, I would definitely recommend picking one with white bristles because the dark colored bristles, once they're wet, they leak or seep color and it transfers onto anything. Like I've got mine sitting in a light colored dish when it's wet and you put it down in that light colored dish, the color like leaks out of it and it just looks disgusting. So I'll just leave it in this dish and I'll show you what I mean in a couple of minutes. Right, last up on my list of things that I would not purchase again. This is one thing that I purchased a couple of years ago and my Samsung top loading washing machine. This thing is an absolute nightmare. I use it obviously at every day, oftentimes multiple times a day and it just makes an absolute mess of any clothes or anything that you put in for a load of washing. It tangles up clothes so badly. Honestly, this washing machine is the worst at tangling up your clothes. It cannot wash anything with long sleeves or like long leggings without getting it in a massive knot. It is the worst for clothes and normally I put everything in individual wash bags. Ugh so annoying and it just trashes clothes like they get so worn out i definitely much prefer my front loader my old front loader i had for many years lg honestly i've had to spend hours and hours untangling anything if you've got leggings if you've got long like long sleeve long leg pajama pants leggings especially they always tangle up it is an absolute nightmare i've lately taken to actually using garment bags to put everything in so i don't actually just tip clothes into the wash anymore i have to individually pack them into garment bags before washing which is a pain you know it is not being productive if you are spending your whole time that you're doing laundry stuffing clothes into those little wash bags just because the washing machine isn't great quality so i definitely would not recommend purchasing that particular samsung Model. Definitely nothing against the brand Samsung. Got a Samsung fridge that I absolutely love. Samsung TV that works perfectly. It's just this particular washing machine. And I actually went back online and I read some reviews that I should have read before I purchased it because all the reviews say exactly the same thing, that it is really rough on clothes. It tangles everything like in, like ridiculously. Uh, and the wear and tear on your clothes is just definitely not worth the low price for this particular washing machine. Okay, guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed me sharing with you purchases that I've made that just didn't work out and things that I would definitely not purchase again or that I would recommend purchasing a different variation of. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It is great feedback for me. It helps my channel out a ton and it lets me know that you enjoy this type of content so I am more likely to keep on making it. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. But yet, hang out and watch some more videos. If you are new around here, then you're in luck because you have a huge back catalog of cleaning, organization, lifestyle videos for you to binge watch on to your heart's content. Have a great week, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. It is a real pain. It is not time. What, what am I thinking of? It's not sneaky. Shh, don't tell anyone. Having a sneaky glass of bubbles because it's nearly four o'clock on a Saturday. The motivation for me to get my YouTube video finished quickly before the bubbles go flat and hot. Oh, a little shiny.
Mom.